been over a year since I made one of these, so let's run through some quick fire tips and tricks that the pros have been using for 2020 in their competitive games. First one's going to be this one coming out of spawn on train, is it's going to be this smoke here, which is going to allow uh, your AWPer to take one way positions on towards Ivy and really control this area. So it's going to land like this, your AWPer is going to jump up. And he's going to start clearing out angles like this towards Ivy, then come out wider and clear this. And basically the CTs, it's very difficult to see. You see if I grab an angle like this, when I can first potentially see anyone on that angle there. It's going to be very difficult if I chuck a bot down here and throw up my smoke. For anyone playing this position, even a CT AWPer, you can see that smoke's going to bloom. I'm going to completely disappear. If I double scope, you can see I still can't even see him. And if you're a rifler playing Ivy, I mean, you have no chance at all. You basically just have to give this up. And this is exactly what Poison does here when Astralis used against him earlier this year is... He sees that smoke, he says, all right, boys, they put out my molly, dumps all these util, moves away and plays another position because it's really difficult to defend Ivy when this smoke comes out. And if you do, you're probably just going to die. Mirage is often a difficult map to find new things on because it's been around for so long. But one thing teams have been doing to change pace is rushing A a lot more. It's because of these two smokes. First one for bench is going to be this one here. You're going to find the top of this pillar, the right side there. You're going to run forward till you bobble up like I have because of this ledge you're going to hit. And then you're going to do a jump throw. So you're going to hit here. Aim up a little bit like so, run forward, hit the ledge and throw your jump through. It's going to bounce off this back wall and then bounce into A site and then land right there, smoking off this bench position. The smoke that goes th with this for your rush for stairs is into the side of the bin. You're going to find this top right corner. Just aim out a little bit like I am here. You're going to walk forward until about here, like midway between the rug, the diamond and the top of the rug. And then you're going to do a jump throw as well. So back in the bin, line up like this, come in and do your jump through. That's going to bounce off the back and isolate off that area here. So you can see it's going to land there, bounce up nice and high. And anyone playing stairs, well, they're going to be struggling because they can't really do anything about this if they want to run up. Oh, look at this. I'm standing in the open, copying all the flashes coming over the top. So I throw that smoke and this smoke here. One thing you can do is the tease, which a lot of teams will do, is I'll get up here behind this, get these smokes here, and then they'll really just try and fight this jungle area. Put a molly here and they'll have this player try and control it and they'll try and play the after plant a little like that for any cts trying to fight nice and early you can see here if you want to see in competitive play this is how heroic runs it you can see all the flashes and the mollies maybe i can do a breakdown of this particular strat but that's how they run it all out the demo is from a grand final i'll put it in the description if you want to have a really close look at this strat but they're two really nice smokes and a new little thing on mirage since i last made one of these videos all right, onto Inferno now. Often teams like to fight for Banana early because it's really important. One thing teams will do to mix up the pace is actually go and take really fast middle as the T side. So if I throw this combo here, this smoke here, top right of the thing. You can see I just got myself lodged here on the top right of the window like I just showed. That's going to be a fast smoke for Arch. And what the same player will do is he'll throw his smoke, then he'll come to this position here. This is a lineup for you if you want to practice, but middle of this window, top right of this lamp, he's going to run forward. Once you clear of the roof like I was there and throw that molly and you're going to isolate off this short position. So nice little combo there. And what this does is obviously anyone playing arch, opera or whatever, he's going to be isolated off. He can't help towards middle. This player here now has to make a decision. He's now trapped. Does he want to give this up as this molly's landing and go play more passive, give up middle? Does he want to fight here potentially alone if his teammate's been smoked out? Or do they want to counter util, try and hold on to this, stop you coming through? That's another option they have. So you're going to either bait out utility force CTs to give it up, or if this guy just wants to sit here and be an idiot with no counter you two, you're just going to get a free kill and give yourselves a 5v4. So a lot of good options there, and you really force the hand of the CTs and make them think about if they want to start three towards B or what they want to do going into the round. A couple of quick things for overpass. Nice little lurk smoke here for monster. So I'm going to go here, bottom of this window, off in the distance. He's just going to do a jump through. I think I saw Vitality using recently, and I'll just throw that. It'll bounce off this fence and really put a nice annoying smoke here for the CTs. They're going to try and have to play around this. They want to clear this out. They're going to have to try and come wide, use a lot of their utility, maybe spam and hope that they've got you. But basically, you can group up behind this potentially, walk up. There's too many of you, you're probably going to get spammed. Or another good thing is just throw this smoke and then send your whole team towards A because CT is going to have to spend a little bit of time trying to work out what's going on here and you can delay a little bit. And the other thing which you might have seen if you watch many competitive games, this is really common, is just to jump up in this position here and get double crouch boost from your teammates and obviously you're going to be part of it. I just put this guy here to help me get up and you're going to get into this position and anyone coming into short, you're just going to have a free kill onto them coming through. Now, one important thing is don't be tempted just to get stuck in the corner like I am here because anyone coming out of monster will actually see you when you can't see them. So don't do that. Make sure when you're getting up, you're actually getting up in a position where you're kind of in line with this wall that sticks out a little bit. You're going to stick like this and you can see I'm, I'm pretty accurate. Anyone who comes past me, 
shoot them and they might not expect it and then you're gonna want to use a lot of counter utility because as soon as you get this kill what are the cts gonna say or the t's are gonna say well there's three people there let's try and capitalize on that so you want to use a lot of counter utility make sure they can't get up capitalize trap you in there um and that's one really important thing so that's two little quick things for a pass but two ones that potentially if you have one rifle or you're an eco or something it could potentially get you a nice little cheeky kill on the b player coming into water now on vertigo if you're serious about playing it you've probably seen all the basic things like this one way smoke that a lot of teams like to throw that lands on the crane. It's going to stop anyone coming up. Obviously no one can see the top of the default box and sit at default and anyone that comes under it, you're just going to shoot them coming up ramp. Stuff like that's pretty basic. Um, but other things that a lot of teams will don't do as efficiently as they could, so obviously hopefully you guys can benefit from it as well, is this util set if you're going towards B. If you're the guard or the util, it's really good to know this. Just load yourself in here, crouch down, aim at the top of this, stand up and throw. Your molly, you're just going to aim off to the right of this. And then you can flash off this pillar like that. And that's going to flash close. So your smoke's going to smoke off there. You're going to molly off default. And your flash is going to pop right here above this pillar for anyone defending from this side of the site. Your teammates can run up, take this pathing. Flash will pop there and then come and clear whatever they need to clear. Hopefully a little bit better than what I just showed there. But that's just a nice little efficient util set if you're the guy with all the nades. Now one other thing you can do is... Clearing out B and doing a little bit of nade damage is obviously molly close here. Clear out this position, which is obviously very annoying to deal with. But once you've done that and there's nothing really going on, you can just get this little nade here. And something big does a lot is you're going to line yourself up here. You're going to find the top right, top corner here. See where I'm aiming and just do a jump through. That's going to bounce off this top pillar, land here. And anyone that likes to play here, which is quite common, they'll spot for info. They can check any position underneath like that. They'll get a flash from their team and try and fight like that if they get contact well you just naded them for 50 damage and that's just a nice little one that if you've cleared this and you nade this well this guy's either with 50 health or they're playing more passive and potentially hit that b site a little bit easier sticking with big and that german efficiency we're going to talk about some alternate ways to throw this outside wall and then i'll show you a nice little rush involving these smokes coming out of spawn so if you want to go towards lobby after throwing this default wall outside is there's this smoke here which i just saw big throwing recently and you're going to go one two three across put your crosshair like i have here or if you have the default view model you can see how my pin lines up there so it's going to look a little bit like this that's going to be the close smoke outside then to accompany it you're going to move out the way you let your teammate take his position here then again to the third one and you're going to find this middle gray panel here and you're going to aim basically center here and then off to the left a little bit so it's going to look a little bit like this here again there's another lineup see that top corner there you're going to put your pin just above that so it's going to look a little bit like that and then again you're going to do your jump throw so if you throw them together you've thrown your smoke wall from nice and close to lobby as opposed to over near the truck or towards outside and get in here maybe hit up or hit ramp with numbers faster than the cts might expect you to and you can see that creates a nice wall outside now moving on to something I think I saw Astralis do first, it's going to be a rush outside and it's going to involve these smokes coming straight out of spawn. The first one which is basically immediately out of spawn is just lodge yourself in here, crouch down, you're going to find this seam on the wall here and this dirty line running through and you're going to basically put your pin there on the default view model. It's very difficult to line up with your crosshair so I, I recommend you use default view model or work it out for your view model. Stand up and do a jump through, that's going to bounce off the top of Silo or Twinkie depending where you're from. Hit the top of mini, hit the top of there, and that's going to smoke off this position. Smoke off there and smoke here. Now to accompany that, you're going to have your teammate run a little bit further out of spawn. Get into this position here, crouch down, aim where the pipe hits the top of the blue. Stand up and do a jump through. That's going to bounce off the back here and join that to make a solid wall here. Just be aware that with this smoke, there is a little position right here where the CTs can potentially play and see anyone crossing. So maybe span this a little bit or put a molly here. Um, just make sure no one's playing that position. And then the third player, if you want to do the full, the full set on towards garage, he's going to come out of spawn, line up in the middle of this pipe here, and he's going to find this shadow that's running off the top of the ladder, two rungs down, and you're just going to aim right there, and that's going to be a jump throw as well. So that's going to smoke off this garage position and stop anyone playing there. So you've essentially made a nice smoke wall in this position here, and any AWP that tried to start here is going to be useless and you can quickly take outside. I've noticed teams using it on anti-ecos particularly, they can try and fight any pistols that they're going to get up nice and close, maybe play around these smokes and really just fight them with numbers and isolate any scout or anything that's trying to play outside going for that early pick. Lastly for us too, I'm just going to show you a nice couple of CT nade combos I actually saw Nico do when I was preparing my last video, but I just didn't include them for the sake of time and making the video flow a little bit better. Now you've probably seen a lot of people throw this one-way smoke here onto the door. This allows them to come from unders, 
jump up onto Xbox and come up towards short without anyone playing middle being able to see them. Um, one thing that's really good is if you see the smoke come out and you're the CT player playing around here, is just go up here, wait a couple of seconds for that smoke, and just throw this running jump nade. And basically, because you know they're going to be jumping up Xbox, that's going to land there and sack them, you're going to do a nice little bit of damage. <clows> now, another alternative is, say you know this, the T side just took the short position, maybe they flashed for here, flashed for the AWPer, obviously a little bit better than that, they've taken this. One thing to do more damage again is throw this combo to trap them in short. So just get yourself onto this box if you're again being this position. Put your molly like that. You're gonna now trap them in this short position and you can throw a nade a little bit something like this. Just get in this position, aim off the right here above this door and just do a little bit of a run through. And you see that's gonna land right here at this door where a lot of players like to stand because they're gonna stand here to line up this particular smoke saying throw their setup smoke. So you're gonna catch them there, trap them in there, throw that nade, or even if you don't throw the molly, that's a really good nade as well. If you notice that the T side likes to throw this a lot because they think they're smart using this one way. So a nice little nade there. And then if you have a teammate on site, maybe your AWP is here as well, we'll get him to throw one in as well. Potentially get a double nade in, such as Nikon Kenny S did actually do when I was watching those demos. But that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I'll catch you all in the next one.